Hey, so welcome to Piff Radio. I am Jay Pitt. Got my co-host Javi in the building. Javi, what up? Yo, what up, Jay Pitt? We definitely in the building. It's definitely lit. We in the spot tonight. We making it hot with hit maker RJ. Definitely it's gonna be a dope interview. Can't wait to get into it, Jay Pitt. Let's go ahead and start it off. I actually introduced hey, you. Hey, RJ, what's good? What? How you doing, man? How you doing, man? It's on honor, honor to be on, be here with you guys. Appreciate you for being on the show today, on this episode of Piff Radio. Uh, so it's introduce yourself. Tell us about you real quick. Okay, I'm a I'm a I'm a music producer, um, hit hit maker RJ. Uh, that's what I go by. Um, originally from Rochester, New York. Um, uh, right now I'm in uh, Florida. You know what I'm saying? That's a big change. All right. So, um, when you done talking, leave like before you meet your mic back up. Wait like two or three seconds, uh, so the audio won't cut off. Um, what you doing in Florida right now? Oh, in Florida. Oh. I stay in Florida. I, I stay in Florida. Um, I'm a. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm in Florida. I'm in Florida right now because I uh, I stay here, but I have a uh, I have a music a music studio down here. So that's uh, really one of the main reasons why I'm still here because <laughs> Florida's all right. <laughs> yeah, Florida's all right, but you know it's I'm a city boy, so it's kind of slow. All right. So, actually, that being stated, what what city you from? Are... I'm from uh, I'm from Rochester, New York. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You're from the Rock up there, okay. I'm from, I'm actually from the Bronx, New York. So it's definitely dope. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I. Right. It just you know a little bit away from the cold, but <laughs> <laughs> he said it's all right. <laughs> Facts. I mean, is the beach better though? Isn't the beaches better though? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It is a whole lot better. So, when did you start doing the music? Man, I started doing music when I was. Well, I grew up in church, so music has always been a part of my life. But like me actually doing music, I probably say I was probably starting when I was like like 11 or 12. So I know I'll probably look like it, but I'm, I'm, I'm 31. So <laughs> yeah, I've been doing music. <laughs> wow. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, a couple, couple years, a little over 10. So did you start out by making the beats or did you start off like doing something else? Uh, yeah, I, I started out, I started out as a, um, as an artist with, with, one of my homies, um, I grew up with. Um, I was rapping for a while, and then uh, we was rapping on we was rapping on jazz beats. Um, <laughs> it was funny. Like my my mom, she used to have these she used to have these jazz these jazz CDs, and uh, we used to we used to rap over those because we we didn't have no, no instrumentals or nothing like that. So we started rapping on that, and we we wanted to start rapping on our own stuff. So I kind of transitioned into making the beats, learning the program and yeah that's that's how it all really started. So my bad. Now go ahead, Jack. So how long was you uh doing the the group thing or just the rapping with your homeboy thing before you actually got into the beats? And what um, what made you turn to straight producing from and not the uh, rapping? Uh, man, that was so long ago. We we probably was rapping for a few years. I think I started when I was like twelve. You probably probably started making when I was like fourteen, maybe around there. 
a guy, it's funny, a guy I knew from the church that I was going to, he introduced me to the program called FL Studio, you know, Fruity Loops, and you probably heard about it. Um, but he introduced me to it, and really I learned that. It took me like a year to actually learn that program uh, on my own, because I really, you know, the internet was, was, was you know, was big, but it wasn't, um, I, if I'm mistaken, we didn't really have access to the internet, because I don't think my mom had the internet. It was something like that. But after a while, I started learning that it's, this was on the internet and I can learn more about it. But like, I really took uh, like a year to learn that program on my own until I really started looking at tutorials online. So. All right, all right. So that being said, RJ, um, who have you produced for? What What are some nice records, dope records that you have produced for some dope artists? Okay. Well, really, um, the main artist that um that I produce for is uh is Trill Will. I don't know if you ever heard of him, but he um yeah. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it's funny, he just texted me too. He's trying to figure out where the room at. <laughs> right. Um yeah, um, but uh yeah, I um I, I've known Trill for a while now, since I was in high school, like my senior year in high school, so I knew for good eight, nine, ten years, eight, nine years, something like that. Yeah, so me and him, you know, that that's like it's like family. So really he's like the main guy that I really produce for. I have other artists, you know what I'm saying, that that I'm, you know, producing, but like he's like the main one that really that I get my recognition from. And um Trill Will is he was with uh like Savage Savage Life, right? Yeah, yeah, he was. He's uh signing um Universal right now. I was I was there for that for his signing too. That was that was a different a different type of feeling. You know, just just to be a part of it, just to see that. Now, um out of what's the biggest record you got with Trill Will um through Universal? Uh Right now, he's still at the moment. He's still trying to like uh, get some stuff situated with them. But you know, we um we got a lot of stuff that's in the works that's getting ready to be released. But it's still you know it's a process with all that. So yeah, but like unsigned from True Will, the biggest record we got is called My Life. It's on it's on YouTube. You can check it out. All right, all right. So he, I think he about to, um, he about to pull up too, um, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he about to pull up. Lead that. What up? Got him. All right, I see you. DJ, be that cash. Appreciate you pulling up. So, um, I actually met Trey Will. I haven't met him personally, but um, actually chopped it up with him through Knox. Um, and I've known Knox for about 10 years. And he got the Next Level DJ Coalition. To, so shout out to them. Shout out to the uh, Next Level DJ Coalition. Um, so RJ, when it comes to the producer for a different artists, um, how do you set that relationship? Like, how is your relationship with the artist? And shout out to uh, Sid with uh, his podcast. And he had an episode called um, Producers and the, Their uh, Relationships with Artists, if I'm not mistaken. So let me know about that. Okay, yeah, like relationships with artists, to me, that's a big thing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, cause cause you got you got some producers, they just they just, you know, they just send beats. But me personally, I like I like to get in there and get with somebody and make something from scratch. You know what I'm saying? Because you get you 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 get a I think you get a better finished product like that than me just showing you beats because you get to tell me what you like, you know what I'm saying? And it's my job to make with you know what you from your head to come to reality with a little bit of my 
touch on it. You know what I'm saying? And the chemistry got to be right too. If like the chemistry not there, I don't really think like, you can make good music, but I think you make better music when you two have a, a good chemistry together. From my experience. Now, do you, do you, um, now is it certain artists, because you said you produce for a lot of artists, so is it like, and you don't got to name them, but do you already know when you're making your beats who you're making the beats for? Mm. I used, you know what, I used to try to make beats for for, for particular artists, but not no, not no more. I just go with what I, I just go with what I feel. I don't really have a particular artist that I'm thinking about when I'm making a beat. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we in there mm. together, then the vibe is, you know, I just go with off. They, they're feeling, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of weird explaining it. You have to be in the process to really understand. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, so that that city I was gonna be my follow-up question, RJ. Like what what's like the feeling of making beats? Um, like what what's the energy like? Um, because that's that's something that is uh obviously unique in the studio. Um that's obviously mm-hmm. something that's uh underrated for sure. Um that's what it pretty much makes the quality all connect collab together. So um, that was yeah, yeah, yeah. The feeling, the feeling. Um, it got it. It got. I don't know. It's 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 so weird it, trying to explain that. You know what I mean? Because you gotta, you really gotta be in there to. Because whoever, whoever in the room can even feel, you know, can feel it. Because you're going off everybody's energy. You know what I mean? So if somebody not right, at least you try to get them to be like, you know, try to get them to leave the negative or something like that. That's, I mean, but if you're going for something negative, then you could you could be in the room. It's it's still kind of weird explaining it. <laughs> it is like you really have to be in the in the room to be like, all right, yeah, this is it. I don't really go in there with a let's make a party, you know, a club joint. Let's make a a street joint. This is whatever comes out. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm kind of leading the way most of the time. Or I feel that. All right, so oh, on to we're gonna bleed that, right? Correct. Yeah, if you there, if you got it, if not, go ahead. All right, bleed that. All right, so RJ, so this is the my favorite uh, question, famous question. Sorry, famous question that I ask everybody on Piff Radio. Um, do you like pineapples on your pizza? <laughs> nah, I can't. I can't. I can't rock with that one. Nah. <laughs> talk to him, RJ. That's what hey. I'm talking about. Hey. <laughs> ah. Nobody eat that shit. <laughs> Trill, Trill nah. Will in the building. Oh, we see Trill Will just stepped in the Trill. building. Bleed that. Trill Will, big bro. Bleed that. You was about to go drop. I'm gonna bring Trill Will up. Big bro in the building. Yeah, we ready. So, our- drop it. We got a real quick drop from DJ Bleed That Cash. Go ahead, D- Bleed That. Let's get it. So, real quick, um, RJ, I, and I invited Trey Wood up too. Um, if if you could have yes, a major collab artist on on one of your beats, right? Yes, sir. Um, who would pick three artists to to get on? Okay, are they all on the same beat, or is this all like some different? Yeah, my bad, y'all had the headphones unplugged. I thought it. 
<laughs> the now <nah>, one beat <laughs> hey, be that you okay um i said roddy rich for one um who else if if tupac was still alive tupac um and the last one hmm, let me see Man, the last one. Who would I listen to? Young Dolphin. Okay, okay. So, Tupac, Roddy Rich, Young Dolph. Mm-hmm. Now, are those three artists that that you listen to a lot? Uh, yeah. Two Tupac, man. I just listen to Tupac a lot. Like now, when I was in elementary, I was be on the bus with, with CD player, listening to Tupac, like the whole ride, every day. Well, there we go. Hey, so tell me when you was making this beat right here, who did you have in mind for this? Hmm. Well, like I said before, like having artists in mind, I don't even do that no more. I just go with it. You just make the beat? Yeah, I, I just I just go with it now. I used to do that, but now it's just like, it takes too much time to think about what they think, what they, what they like it, what they get on it. I don't even care no more. I just make it. <laughs> so when you in the studio, what's what's your mood be like when you uh when you making the beats? Like, do you be smoking? Be drinking? What you be? It's funny, funny thing. I don't smoke or drink. I don't do none of that. So I be in a, a real sober state when I'm going. Like I walk in, you know, I load everything up, and I just start. You know what I'm saying? You need a drum. The bass first, it could be the king's first, it could be a cat Now, um. That's fire. That's hella. Super fire. So, do you shop your beats around to labels or do you shop them directly to the artists? We're trying to get to the. Sometimes trying to get to an artist is is, is, is ridiculous. It is hard. You know what I'm saying? But like I have a website, so I try to have well, I try to like push people to go there, you know what I'm saying? Unless they know something custom made directly, you know, then they hit me up. But yeah, you usually I try to direct them to the website. What's that website? And uh drop also drop your website in the chat. If I knew how to do that, I would. It's my first time on Green Room. Oh, uh, <laughs> you got to <laughs> Hey, you got to end it. You're going to learn today. No, no. I got okay, you. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a chat at the bottom. Just uh, say what your website is, and then just you can post it down in the chat. Maybe somebody will hit, the, hit that link. Check that out. You know what's up, JT? What's up? Yeah, post your Instagram in the chat as well so the team can know. Uh, I mean, the team probably, everybody probably would have run you up. So, JT, what's up? We got JT Funk in the building. I see Nino in the building. What's up? Thank y'all for coming. The beats are definitely yeah, fire, though. I ain't going to hold you. Right. If you're in the room right now, right. you're definitely tuned in to another episode of Piff Radio. Um, and we do have today as our guest, Hitmaker RJ. So, you know, y'all can just drop some emojis in the chat, some fire emojis in the chat, just blow the chat up, show some love, drop some diamonds, you know. There you go, I got it. Okay, I see. Yeah, put your, put your IG in there, blow that up. So, uh, so um, RJ, uh, no. RJ, so do you, do you, uh, are you single? Are you married? 
No, I'm not married, but I'm not. I'm not single. <laughs> I'm, with, I'm, I'm with someone. <laughs> Don't you <don't> believe that? <laughs> so he actually with somebody. Do you have any children, sir? You got any children, RJ? Yeah, I do. I got two. I got a. I got a son. He's nine. He's about to be ten on the seventeenth. I got a daughter. She's four. She's gonna be five on the tenth or eleven. That's it. I just got okay, two. Okay, that's five. You got a ten-year-old and a four-year-old. Jeez. Yes, they ain't that bad. <laughs> So if you have any questions, we will bring. I'm gonna bring you up. Um, we'll get some questions to to RJ real quick. Let's see, JT, want to come up? JT, what up? What's going on, fam? How y'all doing? What's going on? Hey, look, this is my first time on here. I'm I'm a clubhouse guy, so bear with me. It seems simple, but how you get the diamonds and stuff? Like, explain that to me a little bit. Yeah. You just, just click on just the picture. Double tap the <laughs> yeah, they don't mean nothing. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, JT, you an artist? <laughs> Everybody good? Though? No, I'm a, uh, I'm a pro wrestler, man. Oh, you a wrestler? Yeah. Okay. Pro wrestler. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe you need some theme music or something. You know, you got hit hit maker RJ on the stage right now. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Well, I'm gonna have to tap in with with uh, hit maker RJ. My bad. Somebody's trying to call me. What, what was the question? JT, a, JT, a pro wrestler. I told him he might need some theme music. Yeah, that's a fact. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Um, <laughs> follow me on uh on Instagram uh at, at Hitmaker Hitmaker RJ. You know what I'm saying? We can um can we can talk in the DMs. All right. I just tag. I just put my Instagram in the uh, discussion board. Okay. All right, JT, I'm gonna send you back down real quick before we uh Shay up. speaks, Rob, DJ Rob, King Dre, Seth. Anybody got any questions? Yeah, if y'all got some questions, just raise your hand real quick. We'll take like stores. we'll take like <laughs> Yeah. So RJ, what's um what's in your plans right now for the rest of 2021 going into next year? Oh, tw- the rest of 2021, man. Um, um, me and my artist, I have an artist. His name, his name, he go by Free Man Bizzle. Um, I, me and him have been working real closely for like a good two years, but we got a we dropped a project. A project is called Wild One. It's on all streaming platforms, but we about to start dropping a lot of videos, a lot of music. We just about to got to, about to go crazy with it, to be honest, for the rest of the year and all the nation. Yeah, we good. Believe that. Appreciate it. Um, so, RJ, before you did mm-hmm. drop your Instagram in the chat, but before we close out, um, you know, give us the social media again for the audio. Okay, yeah. This is the Hitmaker RJ music producer. You can follow me on Instagram at Hitmaker RJ on the website www.hitmakerrj.com and go there to purchase beats if you like. And that's uh, you look up Hitmaker RJ on Spotify and everything as well, right? Oh, yes, sir. yes, sir. Spotify Hitmaker RJ. Okay, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm gonna go download some music right now while we talking um let me be on mine let me get a drop real quick oh i was just about to... <laughs> <laughs> this would be my first drop hey all right once i know how to do it okay you want me to i'm gonna say uh just you can just say uh you're now tuned in the piv radio with j pitt and how Okay. Hey, what's up, man? It's here, Maker RJ. You are now tuned in with J Pitt and Javier on Piff Radio. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna listen back to I'm gonna listen back to that and be like, oh man. Yeah, cause cause how we gonna be like, man, you call me Javier. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, I can do it again. What, what is it? Is is Javi? Javi. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? This hit maker yeah, RJ. Right. <laughs> Hey, what's up, man? It's Headmaker RJ, and I'm tuning with J. Piff and Javi on Piff Radio. Hey. hey, there we go. We got it. We lit now. Right. That's certified. I like that one. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking at this uh, at this uh, album, So You Think You Can Rap, Volume 1. Was that um, just straight beats? Oh, yeah. Those were beats. That was just something I just threw up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just on some. I was trying out some some marketing and stuff to be honest. And you know, I was just putting up just to test something. But yeah, those are beats. It's just a, a excuse me. Did the test work? Some somewhat. It could have been better. It's all right. Hey, but you learn from it, all right? All right. Yes, yes, sir. More so I got a something. question. I got a question. So he since he's from Rochester up north, he's from New York, so he gotta have a shoe game. So, what's your most collectible shoe that you got right now, RJ? I know you got a collectible shoe. Yeah. Um. Right now, I got a lot of. To be honest, I, right now I got a lot of for I got a lot of forces. Low top. Uptowns. <laughs> hey, uptowns. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. So, yeah, you know, you got you a lot know, of low forces. Are they white? They black? Well, which one you got? You got you got the black ones. Which, which, you got which you got the white ones. Mm-hmm. But you gotta I, keep I got to keep buying them. Every I got white ones, black ones, uh, blue ones, orange ones, custom ones. I, I got all types of stuff. Oh, okay, okay. So he basically like the low top Air Force ones. That's dope. It's mm, been a minute. Um, that's been a you know yeah. custom favorite for hell of a long time, honestly. Definitely a New York classic. I definitely agree. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But yes, yeah, yes. make make sure y'all do t- tune in with my guy, Hitmaker RJ. Definitely tune into the website, hitmakerrj.com. It's that simple, y'all. Make sure y'all tap in. <laughs> Buy some beats, support yes, the guy. It's definitely lit. Thank you for coming aboard Piff Radio today. It's a pleasure having you, me and Jay Pitt. Do a pleasure having you aboard Piff Radio. Shout outs to everybody down there. Said DJ Rob OG, Jay Speaks, him, uh, King Dre, and we also got my guy Trill Will for pulling up. Appreciate you all. Thank you all for coming in, tuning into Piff Radio. I'm your pilot, Javi, and we're definitely gonna be ending this uh, here shortly. Is there anything you want to say, Jay Pitt? For I just want to say, RJ, I appreciate you for pulling up, man. And uh, you stuck to the schedule, so you know I appreciate that, man. Some things, you know, I like I like when people like to handle business the right way. That's a fact. We stick it to the schedule. That's definitely dope. Yeah. Honestly, not not many people do that, so we definitely appreciate. That. It all it all comes with running that studio, man. I I, I be on people like where you at? <laughs> right, you got to. It's time. <laughs> where you at? Time is money all the time. Time is money. It is. Hey man, so shout out to everybody who pulled up. Shout out to RJ. Shout out to uh, Javi, the co-host, the the pilot. This is Piff Radio, man. Burr, 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 burr. Yo, we out of here. We in the spot making it hot. Shout out to J P. Man, this definitely was another dope episode. Shout out to Hitmaker R J. It's definitely lit. And King Dre's down there flashing his mic. Uh, let's go ahead and close this out. We definitely <laughs> appreciate y'all all coming through. Uh, we'll definitely see y'all later on. Oh, we hey. do have Squid Games uh, tonight, so it's definitely going to be. Oh, I said that on the day. Yeah, that's on the clubhouse. Uh, you good? That's on Clubhouse, and that's about to start after this room. So if you're not tuned in to Clubhouse, make sure you're tuned in to piffradio.com.